1980, Peter Stasny joined the Quebec Nordiques, a team in only its second season of NHL action. Although a veteran of four world championships, Stasny was in for a shock. I opened the door, I look, I closed the door, and I kept walking. I said, I gotta be in the wrong room. This is a bodybuilder there, you know. I was looking for the room with the hockey players. Those were huge monsters, just, just, just crafted and, 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 and muscled, you know, everywhere. I mean, mass of the muscles. I never seen that in my life. I mean, I consider myself, you know, pretty big guy in Europe, uh, taller, and, and here I saw, all I saw was just, I was amazed. And I said, I'm going to compete against these people. I said, well, let's get ready then. As the NHL season began, Peter Stasny was an unknown, a 24-year-old rookie from Czechoslovakia. But it was soon clear that Stasny was exactly what the Nordiques needed. He has such a presence on the ice, you know, what he can do offensively, defensively, and physical game, speed game, he can play any kind of game. So there was no question that from there on we had a, a good team. Peter Stasny with his first the thing about Peter Stastny that I think needs to get more focus is the fact that he helped make a bad team, a real competitive team in a hurry in Quebec, and he did it against, you know, pretty difficult odds. I discovered very quickly that these games here, it's like playing Russian all the time. Here there was no such a thing like easy game. You play easy game, you play last team in the, in the NHL, you understanding, you're going to lose at home, and we did. The toughest part was, was, was the rhythm. Rhythm and, and intensity. Intensity uh, of the practices, intensity of the games, and it, it, it never went lower. It was kept very high, very high, very high, and the toll came in January. I never had a crisis like that. I was literally moving my, my feet with my hands to helping my feet to, to, to get moving. I was totally, totally drained. But Stasny soon adjusted to the NHL game. He ended his first season with 109 points, a new rookie scoring record. And he was awarded the Calder Trophy as NHL Rookie of the Year. When European hockey first became part of the National Hockey League, there was always a question with people. How much competitive juices would these people have? How long would it be before they just wear down? How long before you'd, you'd be able to step on them and, and continue on your way to, to, to accomplishing what you wanted? Stasny was, a, he was the opposite of this guy. This guy had emotion on the ice that was raw. He took a lot of abuse. He took it all. And he took it like a man. He took it like a pro. He came in, never missed a beat. He came in, played great hockey. He was a dominating player. Great led by Peter Stasny. Falik moves over Stasny, shot, he scores! The thing I saw first was how powerful he was with the puck, you know, what he can do with it, you know, the protection and the pass and, and all that, but, you know, he was really the soft hands, the big guy, but you know, he had everything, really, you know, I mean, you can bring the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, the kind of pass he can make sometimes, it's just unbelievable. Pierce Dastny was, to me, the toughest guy I ever played against because um, he, he just, he was big, he was strong, he was fearless, extraordinarily talented, and had a will to win that was as good as any player I ever played against. I need to be in the action, I need to get a puck, I need to, to, to see the things happening, get the excitement, get the scoring chances and, and, and moving up and down. Emotions in many, many sports can can actually hurt you. In hockey, emotion helps you. That, that's why the, the game of hockey was basically just just perfect fit for me. Peter was uh, an, another very intense hockey player. He always looked like he had a mission when he was uh, when he was on the ice, and uh, it was uh, to be the best and and to win. And he always he always respected Peter for the way that he played. He was he was a tough player. He didn't back down from anything, and, and he was a great sentiment too. 
Stastny's puck protection skills in his era were probably the best in the league in terms of being able to go into the corners, get the puck, drive to the net, not have the puck stripped off of his stick, uh, create chances in tight because of his strength. Uh, he was very quick side to side. He was very tough to contain. The best player of all time were the ones with a good fake. You have to move those, drop those shoulders and, and, and move the head and kind of, uh, kind of mislead the, the, the adversary or defenseman, make him believe you're going right, right and then you move left and, and, and quicker you do it, uh, faster you do it, better the fake, the more, you, more room, more time you get. And, and a room and a time is the essence, it's the mantra of the hockey. In 1981, the Nordiques added another Stasny to their roster as Peter and Anton were joined by their brother Marion. While all three brothers were stars, Peter was a superstar. And away from the game, he embraced his new home. When he came into uh, the, the province of Quebec, uh, you know, he uh, wanted to uh, be part of the culture. Uh, he uh, wanted to, to be part of what was offered him. I'm in Quebec City. Uh, it's 99% of people speaking French. And I'm going to learn the, the, the language. Also, in hockey, the, the, the number one language is English. And he was willing to, right away, get into it. In 1984, Stasny donned the uniform of his adopted country as he joined Team Canada for the Canada Cup Tournament. And the following year, he was named captain of the Quebec Nordiques. You know, when it comes to trailblazers, there are a lot of ways of looking at it. And Peter Stasny coming here after being a star in Czechoslovakia and then having so much command intellectually and artistically to be named the captain of the team at that point in time was truly awesome and it was a testimony to his leadership qualities he could do everything he was strong he was smart he could shoot i remember when the, he played for quebec with his two brothers anton and marion it is amazing when you think of it that three players from behind the iron curtain could come over to the national league and put the show on those three dead. Peter Stasny reached the 100-point plateau on seven occasions and six times ranked among the top ten in scoring. Stasny was one of the greatest to ever wear a Quebec uniform. He was the big, big talent on that team. He was the guy who took the face-offs. He was the guy who would score the big goals. He was the guy that you couldn't leave him loose for a minute because he was the heart and soul of that team. Peter Stastny was one of the classiest people that I ever met in hockey. He came over from what was then Czechoslovakia at a difficult time and made the adjustment as well as almost anybody has ever made it. He never complained about anything. He was a leader on the ice. He was a great student in the game and a delight to talk to and always one of the, the gentlemen at every, every step of the way. He opened the doors to many Europeans because they were saying if we could bring Europeans over and they could play with that passion and that desire that the way Peter Stastny played the game, he opened the door. Europeans playing in the National Hockey League today should never forget the major role Peter Stastny played in opening the doors to these guys. When you look at the number of players that are now successful that come from the same part of Europe that he came from, you have to know that uh, Stastny was one of the idols and, and uh, one of the reasons why they got interested in the game and applied themselves and played and became good enough to play in the best league in the world. In 1990, during his 10th season in Quebec, Stastny was traded to the New Jersey Devils. Four years later, he joined the St. Louis Blues where he ended his NHL career in 1995. Stasny became a key member of the newly formed Slovak team in 1994 and was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1998. It's, it's a tremendous feeling. It's a really special feeling. I almost broke down when I got a phone call. I was at our training facilities and uh, I didn't know what to think. I thought it was really humbling and I, I was caught, I was speechless. Because you don't think about it. But when it really happens, it makes you think, it brings you back and it brings a lot, a lot of memories from these very, very early days. Till, till your last games and they were packed, 
packed with the stories and emotions and to become part of a, such a small group of the people in the history of the sport, that, that, that's indescribable. Born September 18, 1956 in Bratislava, Czechoslovakia, Peter Stasny shone in his homeland before defecting to the National Hockey League in 1980, joining the Quebec Nordique. Regarded as one of the finest centermen of his era, Peter Stasny was a remarkable craftsman with the puck. Blessed with excellent skating skills, tremendous balance, and extraordinary anticipation, Stasny was an all-round superstar. Success in North America was swift. Stasny was awarded the Calder Memorial Trophy as the NHL's Rookie of the Year. That season, he set records for most assists and points for a first-year player. 70 assists, 39 goals, and 109 points. He topped 100 points in his first six NHL seasons. Named captain of the Nordique from 1985-86 to 1989-90, his point totals in the 1980s were only surpassed by Wayne Gretzky. He played in six All-Star games between 1981 and 1988 during a career that spanned 15 years with stops in both New Jersey and St. Louis. His overall NHL numbers are astounding. Center Stasny scores! Peter Stasny, 3-2 Devils! So there you see a little hockey history made yep. right there. 32nd player to score 400 goals in his career. In 15 NHL seasons, Peter Stasny recorded 450 goals and 789 assists for 1,239 points in 977 regular season hockey games. Upon retirement, Peter Stasny was the highest scoring European trained player in NHL history and the first 1,000 point man. Peter Stasny's hockey achievements reach beyond the NHL. He enjoyed a prestigious international career between 1976 and 1995 in World Championships, Canada Cups, and Olympics. Stasny represented both Czechoslovakia and later, as a Canadian citizen, Team Canada at the 1984 Canada Cup. Finally, 10 years later, he joined the Slovakian national team at the Lillehammer Olympics. His tremendous skill, hard work, and determination highlight a brilliant career as one of the finest playmakers in NHL history. Peter Stasny, inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in the Players category.